Whoa. I hit record a job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now, these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte, like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier. Welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds you all very, very well. I'm super excited to finally be back with another makeup and hair tutorial, okay? It's gonna be two in one today. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be transforming, which is my favorite thing to do all the time. And I just shower too, so I am feeling good, okay? So if you guys are interested in watching this makeup and hair tutorial, then just please keep on watching. All right, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite go-to makeup look lately. You guys know I've had a couple of go-to makeup looks here in the past on my channel. Um, I change up my go-to makeup looks pretty frequently, um, but I don't know why. I feel like I've just been in a phase where it's just like less is more and I never thought I would say that, okay? Because I, me, myself and I, I'm an extra bitch, okay? So I like doing the most. This is just something that I have been doing for every single day. Now, if, now when I'm going out, which I haven't done that in months, okay? That is a different occasion. I do like to add a little bit more of everything, be a little bit more extra. But as far as like, I think that's another thing too. I think quarantine has made me <laughs> just love the soft, natural glam just because that's all we can do right now. You know what I'm saying? So I am going to be showing you guys this beautiful soft, makeup look that I have been doing lately, so let's get started. Of course, first I'm gonna be moisturizing and hydrating my skin since I did just get out of the shower. My skin is feeling super dry and crusty, so I want to really bring back that hydration and moisture to my skin. So I'm gonna be using my favorite, favorite, favorite moisturizer right now. This is the 4th Ray Beauty Coconut Face Milk. This stuff, you guys, is so good and it smells delicious. Oh my gosh. Even when I first applied this, I was just hooked on it. It is so good. I love it. And I feel like I'm gonna have to get another one because I am almost out of this. But I just add two pumps. And I just like to rub this all over my skin. This scent to me reminds me so much of like me being on a beach, sipping on a pina colada. That's exactly the vibes that I get from this moisturizer, so good. On to foundation, I'm going to be using my favorite foundation at the moment. This is the Lowell Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. This is in the shade Butterscotch. Now, you guys, I have been obsessing over this foundation so much lately, I just don't even know, okay? Um, this foundation is perfect for someone who is going for that radiant dewy look this foundation is for you this foundation is not matte so if you're not into the dewy look this is not the foundation for you buddy okay but i love this it leaves my skin feeling like skin honestly and it makes it super dewy i have been into the dewy look just fresh dewy look lately so this foundation is just perfect and it's also very um i feel like i can build it up as well so if you guys want a super soft foundation look you can definitely achieve this by using this foundation but if you want a little bit more extra coverage you will definitely get that with this foundation as well so that's why i really love it i did get two shades darker than my skin or about a shade darker than my skin right now i'm just gonna be adding this to my beauty blender and I'm just going to be adding this all over my skin. And you also wanna make sure you blend this really well on the ears and on the neck. Moving on to the next product, I'm gonna be going in with concealer now. I'm gonna be skipping through the cream contour. You guys know I always do that, but today I'm just gonna be adding concealer. So this is the Secret Camouflage um secret camouflage concealer in the shade sc3 now it does come with two shades in here of concealer this little palette right here this is iconic okay i remember the first time i ever saw someone use this palette was makeup by mario and i remember i always wanted to try out and i never tried out and i never did so i did decide to finally try this concealer out about like a month or 
a month ago and i am so obsessed y'all like this is so good and i use this for every single day so this is definitely an everyday concealer for me i love this i do use both of the shades in here i mix them both and i just add it with my beauty blender so i just like to dab my beauty blender in here add a little bit of both and then I just like to add this underneath the eye area. Now this concealer is also very buildable. You can add a little bit of it. Add so like this and you are good to go or you can build it up to be super, super full coverage, which I love. Now with concealer, you will always catch me doing the most just because I love a super bright under eye area. I love super full coverage underneath the eye, but that is just me. Do you guys see the difference? Just look at the difference. Oh my gosh, I love it. We are going to be setting the face next and I'm also going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now I just realized you guys, I promise you guys this is not a sponsored video at all, okay? I just happen to have used a lot of Laura Mercier products for this video, okay? Um, so, <laughs> Yeah, welcome, Laura Mercier. No, but seriously, you guys, I think the reason why I kept using all of the products that I'm gonna be showing you guys throughout this video is because um, I believe three weeks ago now, we had a class um, on Zoom with Laura Mercier and Nikki Makeup, and I learned so much from her, and I kind of stuck with the makeup tutorial that she was giving us, so that is the reason why I kind of up with all of these products so just a little fyi moment okay this is not a sponsored video whatsoever all right i'm gonna be setting now and of course i'm gonna use my beauty blender as well to set underneath the eye area now i'm gonna be grabbing a fluffier brush now and i'm just gonna be setting the entire face to bronze up and contour the face, I'm gonna go in with the contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Tan to Deep palette. Now this to me is such an OG palette. I still love all of her powders. They are the bomb. So I'm gonna be using both of these two, actually all of these three right here to bronze up, contour, and add a little bit of blush to the skin. The brush that I'm gonna be using to apply all of it is the Morphe M530. This is my favorite brush to apply contour, bronzer, and blush. This is like my favorite all-in-one brush. I'm gonna be adding this on the cheekbones. I'm going to lift up my skin here a little bit and this is just going to really make that blending process a little bit more smoother. And I always like to go a little bit higher on the cheeks. This is going to create a facelift. As you guys can see, the higher you apply your bronzer, blush, contour, all of that goodness, it's really going to lift up the face. All right, next I'm gonna be adding a little bit of highlight and this is from Benefit. This is their Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. And I'm just gonna be using my fingers to apply the highlighter. I feel like this just gives it more of like a natural finish. And honestly, just using your fingers does the job, okay? It does, it, get it, it gets it done. And I'm gonna be adding, of course, right on the highest points of my cheeks. Just blending that really good with my finger. And I am gonna tone down the highlight a little bit once we add the blush, it's going to blend in all together. But I do like to add the highlight first and then blush. For blush, I'm gonna go in with this orangey shade from the Anastasia Contour Palette. I'm just gonna add this on the cheeks. And I'm also going to blend out that highlight a little bit. I am going to be contouring my nose now. I'm not gonna go super in detail with it, but I am gonna be using the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Bomb. Here is how we are coming together okay all right next we're gonna be moving on to brows now you guys know i have had 
quite a journey with my eyebrows throughout my entire YouTube career, okay, that have been through so much. Um, right now, I am currently still in the process of letting them grow out completely. I can't wait to talk to you guys a little bit about my brows during this video because I have had some few new products that I have been using. I have been going pretty soft and natural with my brows lately, so here we go. First product that I'm gonna be using and talking about for my brows today is of course another Laura Mercier product. Now, I've never heard of them having a brow gel before, but y'all, this brow gel is literally a game changer, okay? I personally have never tried anything like this before. It is so good. This gives me like brow lamination vibes for sure. It literally sits my brows sets my brows in place. So I'm gonna just zoom you guys in a little bit. But let me just show you guys the tea, okay? So I just kind of lift the hairs up. And I just like to shape them very well to my liking. It lifts them up so well, you guys. And it literally stays in place all freaking day. Look at the difference between this eyebrow and this eyebrow. It's crazy. All right, I'm gonna be doing the other side. Okay, so here are my brows. It literally looks like I got a brow lamination done within seconds. Like, what? I love this brow gel so much. It's so good, you guys. Now I am going, now I am going to fill in the sparse areas of my brows, and I'm gonna be using this brow bar from Rema by Rima. I'm not sure, you guys, but I will also list this for you guys down below. Okay, so here we have our lovely brows. I love them so much. It's been a journey letting them grow out, you guys, but so worth it. For the eyes, I'm gonna be using the same Anastasia Tan to Deep Contour Kit Palette. And I'm gonna be using this shade here. Also going to be using my Morphe M441. And I'm just going to add the shadow all on the crease and I'm also going to mainly focus the eyeshadow right on that outer corner okay before we move on to the next eyeshadow I'm just gonna be adding my inner corner highlight again I'm gonna be using the benefit twinkle highlighter and I'm just going to take my finger and just blend that all in that inner corner. And I'm just gonna go back in with that blending brush and I'm just going to really lightly blend this into the nose a little bit. Next, I'm gonna be taking the darker shade and I'm going to mainly focus this shade right on that outer corner. Okay, moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to be picking up those same exact shades and I'm just going to add this on that lower lash line now moving on to the next shade that i'm going to be using to apply on the center of the lid is this highlighter from also laura mercier this is called indiscretion so the highlight looks like this i'm just going to be grabbing a brush and i'm just going to be adding this right here on the center and this is just going to really bronze up this look a little bit Give it a little bit of shimmer in there. Moving on 
on to liner, I'm gonna be using my favorite caviar stick from Lil Mercier. This is in the shade Coco. This pencil right here is super versatile. You can use it for pretty much anything. I use this for eyeshadow, liner, for underneath the waterline. I mean, it's amazing. You guys always ask me what I use to create my brown liner, and this is it. I just like to take the pencil and just grab the product, and I just start creating that wing liner. As you guys can see, I really like to focus that wing liner just strictly on the outer corner. I don't like to really go super crazy with it right on the inner corner. It just gives it that super foxy like cat eye look, which is why I love it. And I'm gonna be using the same pencil and I'm just going to be adding a little bit of it right on the lower lash line, right on the outer corner. Just right about here. And lastly, taking that same angled brush that we've been using, I'm gonna be taking the very tip of this and I'm just going to create that inner corner cat eye. Also, you guys, I'm still using this busted ass mirror, oh my god. Moving on to lashes, I'm gonna go in with these Tati lashes. These are by Molly Mae and these are her everyday lashes. These remind me so much of the Ardell Wispies, like the exact same. So if you have those, girl, it's the same thing. Okay, we got our lashes on, here they are. Um, really all we have left to do is the lips and for fun, I'm gonna be adding this ColourPop QT Mark marker and this is in a heart shape. I'm gonna take the little heart marker from ColourPop and I'm gonna add it right here. Lastly for my lips, I'm gonna be adding this LA Girl Cosmetics Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Sugar and Spice and I'm also going to be mixing it with this lip liner from NYX Cosmetics in the shade Nutmeg. All right, and for the center of the lips, I'm gonna be adding this Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in the shade Respect. I'm just gonna be adding some right on the center here. All right guys, so we're gonna move on to the hair now and I'm just going to quickly try to explain this as easy as I possibly can. Um, I am going to be parting my little two pieces that are going to go in the front. I'm gonna be taking a tiny bit of hair from the very center. Just, I really want to separate my bangs, you can say, and then the little two ponytails that are going to go right on the center. So it's going to stick right on that area. And I just want them, you can choose them to be as thin or as thick as you want them to be. I'm gonna pretty much have them or like this much hair, have them to be little tails that go like that. So, so I'm just gonna piece them together here. And then I'm gonna pull this back. That way I can also make sure it's even because look at that, it's not even even at all. So I'm just gonna Make sure I put this back all the hair. And you wanna have like a perfectly nice square, okay? Okay, so now I am just going to tie this little thing together, or actually I'm just gonna clip it. And I'm just going to tie all of this hair back so it's out of the way. And you should have a perfectly nice square. <laughs> And of course, you want to split them down in the middle, split the hair down in the middle to create the two little pigtails. I think that's in the middle. We're just gonna keep it there. 
as you guys can see my hair is short i do want longer hair so i am going to be using my bellamy extensions and i'm also going to be using the single pieces which you guys will see me applying here in a little bit to create more volume because this is not a lot of hair for me okay i feel like this is gonna look so flat and ugly when i do pigtails so i'm just going to add the single pieces okay so i'm gonna start from the back first the first piece and i'm gonna clip it to back right here and then i'm gonna take another one i'm gonna split damn it my comb fill i'm gonna put in the blonder piece i'm gonna clip it here as well All right, so now we're gonna be tying the little pigtail. So I'm just gonna tie it up with a clear rubber band. Tie in it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna be doing the same exact thing to the other pony and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we have our two little pigtails now. They're super long, oh my gosh. Okay, so I am just going to put these babies up for now, okay? Because we are going to put our extensions in, which you guys have seen me do countless of times, okay? So we're not, I'm gonna show you the process a little bit, but I mean, you guys get the point. If you guys want an in-depth on how I install my extensions, I have a couple of videos here on my channel. So we have the pigtails up. I'm just gonna put this hair down. And I'm just going to continue to add all of these extensions to my hair. Oh my gosh, I know. It's uh, so much hair! I am just going to keep repeating the same exact steps all throughout the hair. And if you guys are interested on what kind of curl I am doing, I'm doing more beachy waves, so I do like to do them away from my face. Let that sit there for a good like five to ten seconds and then just let it go and i just alternate the curls as well so sometimes i go inwards i'll go inwards and then outwards Alright, so we have all this juicy hair. Now I'm gonna be doing the little pigtails now, which this is the fun part, okay? Alright, this makeup and hair is now complete. This was a full glam transformation. I'm telling you, I love these kinds of videos. It is just everything to me and it just gets to show you guys how much of a catfish I am. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys get to try out this hair, this glam. I mean everything. It's everything. It's giving me like space girl vibes. I don't know. It's probably because of this damn heart that I have on my face that really has no reason to be there has no business being there but it's there I will list every single thing that i mentioned throughout this entire video down below in the description as well as the hair extensions all the deeds will be down there as always but other than that i love you guys thank you thank you so much for watching and for being with me and getting ready with me today you guys are truly appreciated every single time you guys watch my videos so just know that i love you guys thank you thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon in my next video bye guys